We know that parts of Star Wars Episode 9 take place in the desert. So why do I think that we are going back to Jakku? Where are you going? We're going back to Jakku, that's where. No, 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 we can't go back to Jakku. Did you know that there is so much interesting lore surrounding Jakku? It was home to Rey, Gallius Rex, and visited by the Emperor and his closest confidants. Palpatine was drawn to Jakku and the Unknown Regions because he thought that it might be the source of his power, some nexus that emanated dark side energy. Thirty years before the battle at Yavin, Emperor Palpatine established a small outpost on Jakku, guarded by a stowaway boy named Galli, later known as Gallius Rex. Palpatine kept Sith relics in this outpost. Palpatine glimpsed a great showdown between the rebellion and remnants of the Empire after his demise. Jakku would become the staging ground for his so-called contingency plan. Sometime after the destruction of the second Death Star, remnants of the Empire would commit a terrorist attack, an assassination attempt on Mon Mothma on her home planet of Chandrala after which the remaining forces of the Empire retreated to Jakku, to be almost completely destroyed, those unworthy in the eyes of Palpatine would die here. Jakku, bordering on the unknown regions, became a staging ground from which hand-picked leftovers from the Empire would embark on a trek through the unknown regions in order to rebuild and eventually returned to the known galaxy as the First Order. Almost 60 years after Palpatine first visited Jakku, it is now littered with Imperial and New Republic wrecks. Rey wanders about trying to salvage valuable parts and sell them to junk traders at Nima Outpost. Lor Senteca has established a small village where he lives together with other worshippers of the Force and eventually fate would bring the First Order back to Jakku to retrieve the data required to find Luke Skywalker and try to destroy him. We all know how that went. In all, Jakku is featured in a multitude of books, in different converging storylines, games, etc. Just look at the pile of books that we have that all partially take place on Jakku. I'm going to reread them as soon as I finish my read through of the Song of Ice and Fire series that I'm currently reading. In any case, Abrams, the story group, several writers, and Lucas Arts in general have infused Jakku with such strong lore that it is almost impossible not to revisit it. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day. What about you? I gotta get back to Jakku. Back to Jakku! Why does everyone want to go back to Jakku? Ah, buckle this! Ludicrous speed! Go!